Hey, gals and guys, it's Chris Mosher from MyMediaHelper.com, and this time out, what I'm going to do is um, I've, I've shared these links before. I've actually added to them some helpful SharePoint links for you to get more information and tools that you can use um, when designing and putting together your SharePoint. So these are all right down here, featured links. And if you're not aware, um, if you want to put your, you can put your own featured links there. I put them all there. Uh, if you go to your main site, so if you just, in my case, it's just going to be, you can get rid of all this crap. This is going to be my media helper incorporated And that should, um, oh, that actually doesn't go to SharePoint here. I lied to you. That goes to my main site. Uh, if you hit SharePoint up here at the <clears throat> corner, then it will send you to like your main interface where you can see all the sites that you created and, and everything. So right down here, I created this. There's an area where you can put your own links and that's what I did. So here's a series of links that are very helpful. We'll go through each one uh, fairly quickly, I guess. Um, and what's new is actually so here, let's do this. So if you want to uh, put in a um, link, you just click on that. You put hit add. And then you just put in the name of the link and then the address to where the link is. And then you're going to hit save. <clears throat> and then you can drag it down. I try to put them in alphabetical order. So I'm going to drag this down to the last one. And then you can just put simply done. You can go into edit again. You can edit these if you put the wrong link in or you want to call it something else. Uh, very easy. You can hide it from mobile app. I don't know why you would want to do that, but um, it's a feature that you can do. So we'll go down here. All right, we'll go down in uh, alphabetical order. As you can see, there's a lot there. There's a lot of links that I use, um, some more than others. Canva, I've mentioned a million times, and um, I don't remember if I ever, uh, fortunately, I don't open new links. Uh, let's go back. Can you open these in new links? Let's go here. Ah, crap. All right, so if they don't open new links, you can just right click and go open a new tab. No big deal. This is Canva, so this is basically has um, graphic design templates for you. Um, you can pretty much, you can do videos in it. You can do anything that Photoshop um, can do. Um, I used to use Photoshop religiously, and since Canva came along in Photopea, another one I'm going to show you, I don't use Photoshop anymore. This is just drag and drop and very easy, um, and you can make really quick videos, really quick graphics, buttons, posters, you name it, um, any media, visual media that you can think of. Um, Canva is awesome for. It's free to sign up. If you want bells and whistles, um, there is a subscription fee. If you seem to use a lot of space, um, it only allows you so much space, but um, I delete old stuff and, and put new stuff up so I don't have space issues. So that's canva.com. Collaboration is basically a community where you can um, go and um, yeah, let's see where. See, there's a community here that you can go to ask questions and stuff like that. It's just a big page of um, information. And this is the best part right here is this, this community. So if you do have uh, particular questions, you can shout them down out here. You can read other questions. Maybe you have the same issue that someone else has. All there for you, all information. Um, there's advanced filters. Um, is there a search? Yep, you can search this community. So just like any board, right? You remember the old boards, the old, um, what were they called? I'll think of them. The old message boards, right? <laughs> those are those are days of past, but that's kind of it's kind of what that is, I guess. All right, so we'll get rid of that, and you can check out this other stuff here. So it's a good resource for you. It's a good link. All these links will be in the description. Grammarly. Oh no, developer documentation, not Grammarly. Yeah. Uh, this is all this Microsoft site as well. Um, just basic. Uh, documentation, developer documentation, just like it says on various things. There's SharePoint add-ons. Um, there's there's a hell of a lot of information on here. So you can just go and uh, have a feed day as far as anything and everything. Uh, Microsoft, I focus on mostly Teams and SharePoint um, add-ins. But um, yeah, that's a link there for you to check out and explore. All right, GitHub, I don't use so much. I have it on there for someday I will. This is more kind of um, technical as far as um, uh, coding that you would that you would need or want. I don't get too much into the coding, and I'll tell you why. It's because I developed these sites um, in-house 
at a place where there's doctors, there's nurses, there's people that aren't website uh, curators, right? They just use the site for information. So I make them as easy as possible to take because I don't, I don't personally update them unless there's questions. But if you want to get all techy about it, and uh, you can check this out, it's a fun site, and uh, you can get a lot of tips and coding and um, stuff like that. If you want to do some some special stuff with your uh, with your SharePoint site, Grammarly very important uh, not only for SharePoint but everything in my life. Uh, it's just it helps with spelling and grammar. I'm terrible at it. Uh, always have been. Um, and so you can get the free app, and that's all I use. If I have like a um, a project, like I do short stories, I do write uh, books and, and novels once in a great while. Um, not well, but I do it. And uh, usually I buy the the package uh, just for those particular circumstances, for the special bells and whistles. But mostly, if you just need a quick um, way to to check your grammar and your spelling. Um, this is perfect. You can also get the the app. There is a uh, Chrome app. I do not have it here because I work in a secure environment, but I do have it at home. So if I go on anything, if I go on Facebook, uh, any social media, um, you can link it to, it's actually linked here to my Microsoft products. Um, you can link it to pretty much almost anything and it will help you um, with your spelling and your grammar. It's very helpful and I use it all the time help and learning just some more information for you um, this is an official microsoft site and um, there's training here what is your point uh, create site i mean anything and everything you can think of is right there uh, to start your adventure your road trip down the world of of sharepoint very exciting right okay that link will be down in the description image size i use this all the time too uh, basically, it's just a sheet to tell you um, the aspect ratios, the, the sizing of what each web part um, image uh, can be, or not necessarily needs to be. You can put it any way you want, but if you want to make it uniform and make it look good, um, I use this all the time as a reference. So pretty self-explanatory, very good tool. Use all the freaking time. Lookbook, this is kind of more for newbies. Um, it's very interesting to go through. You can kind of put in what you want as far as um, what you want to visualize for your page, and it'll tell you exactly. Here, I'll show you. Um, so, okay. So, all right, I want to make a page like this. Okay. So it's going to show you exactly um, what parts and, and what features and everything that you can use um, point by point. And it will direct you right through how to make this whole page. If you're not, uh, this is very for the newer people. Get you, it will get you indoctrinated into SharePoint. It'll get you used to SharePoint, and um, it's a good learning tool. So that is down right in the description. <laughs> is there official updates? So this is just new stuff that's coming out. Excuse me, I'm going to say I have some coffee. It's basically just telling you what's what's on the horizon and what's coming out, All right? Security updates for Microsoft 365, update history, update size, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it's just a, a reference tool to go through and kind of get an idea of uh, what is on the horizon. Okay, Photopea, I just did a video on this, very basic video on how to use Photopea. Photopea is an online um, Photoshop alternative. And again, I used to use Photoshop religiously, uh, consistently all the time. I don't really use it anymore. Uh, I don't really need it. This has all the features I need as, um, as Photoshop would have had. And it's a free uh, service. You can uh, sign up for the bells and whistles, just like Canva. But um, it does everything and anything that you probably need as far as resizing and retooling your images and uh, making PDFs and just simple basic stuff for for SharePoint needs or website needs or, I don't know, if you're a photographer, photographer needs. But um, yeah, it's a good graphic, uh, it's a good graphic it's an art uh, tool. Mm -hmm. So Pixabay. So there's a couple sites that are just like this. I use Pixabay just because, one more step, please complete security check to access. Oh, okay. I am a human being. It's true. I got to go through all this crap. Never had to do this before. Anyways, this is a, a site for free images. Um, and once we get the, we pick out some boats here, <laughs> hopefully we'll send here. We go, Jesus Christ. All right, you can get uh, free images and um, 
videos, commercial free images and videos um, for your sites. So I don't know what I would put in here. How about clapping? I don't know. Let's see if we got people clapping. If you needed, yeah, there you go. If you needed an image of people clapping, there's a clapboard for if you can do a if you're doing a Hollywood production SharePoint site. There you go. You got yourself a clapboard. All right, and there's uh, I I do a lot of um, background videos. Uh, I grab a lot from here for a lot of my backgrounds and stuff like that. So very cool site. It does give you an option to um, donate to the um, people who have uploaded their stuff, and I always encourage uh, you to do that. Get messaged. Okay, so SharePoint stuff. This is a website that's pretty cool. They basically just grab uh, updates from SharePoint. It's just laid out a lot better. Um, it's a lot more user friendly to um, to read through. So a lot of stuff uh, that's been launched. You roll stuff that's rolling out uh, in the future. This is um, July, I think July 2022 roadmap. So. Yeah, you just read through that, and uh, there's July, there's June. Uh, you can kind of give an idea of what uh, Microsoft is going to do at you as far as um, SharePoint is concerned. All right, so we'll get rid of that bad boy. Uh, web part solutions. So I haven't opened this up in a while. SharePoint solutions, banner image, SharePoint event manager. Okay, so I haven't looked at this one too much. So basically, web parts. Um, so for instance, you know what a web part right is. You know what a web part right is? You know what a web part is, right? <laughs> um, so these are web parts, right? So each of these different um, icons here have different features. They're called web parts. Um, they can be plugins if you're WordPress and, and other content management system. They're probably called something else in some other system. But anyways, um, yeah, that kind of gives you an idea on uh, how each web part functions and how you can utilize them. And I haven't used this too much. So I got to go back and, and review this because there's probably some stuff um, that I could pick up there. Always learning. Uh, SharePoint is a massive beast. And um, there's always things to learn on there. There's tons of shit that I don't, I don't know. Um, but every day is a learning experience. So, <clears throat> excuse me, and what's new, basically. What's new is basically this page right here. It's just uh, by Microsoft. And I just find it easier to go here. But that's all they're doing. They're just grabbing shit from, from this page and putting it on this page. Um, but yeah, for anything and everything Microsoft, you can um, grab from here and see what's coming up on the horizon for your pages. All right, sweethearts, girls and boys, and ladies and men, um, that's it for this time out. I just wanted to share these, all these links with you that I use. Um, my updated list, now if this, you got anything out of this, uh, please subscribe, I appreciate you if you can. Always build in the channel, that's um, one of the big goals. And then, of course, share this if, uh, with your SharePoint friends if they need a little tutelage towards their SharePoint endeavors. And then uh, like it if you like it. If you like this video, like me. Like me to death, would you? If you hate this video, like me to death, would you? And then um, hit that bell and you get you get updates when I update my um, my sporadic uh, schedule of videos that I that I post. All right, gals and guys, uh, if I haven't said it a million freaking times, I appreciate you as always, and I will catch you later.